the top five high school baseball products by graduation year. Uh, that's where we're going to start off. I'm here with uh, Brian Shug, you can call him. Let's get right into it. What do you, uh, what do you, do you see any trends on the map? Uh, well, the interesting trend that I'm looking at right now is the majority of those who are top five in 2015 are mostly in Florida and California. Things in Southern California, there's, there's nothing in the north. I would say north of, I guess, West Virginia. Yeah, I mean, no, I see, uh, there's something in New Jersey, but, um, I'm not seeing too much of uh, um, farther north than that. Well, that obviously has to do with the weather. Uh, Justin Hooper um, at De La Salle High School, 6'7", 230 pounds. That's a, that's a big boy, and he's a pitcher. So uh, He's a lefty, too. Yeah, I heard um, I heard something online. He's, uh, he's hitting 97 miles per hour at his age. 17 years old, 95 miles per hour. That's, that's unbelievable. It's all because of his height and weight. I mean, he's a big boy. He's six seven. Randy Johnson was what six nine, six ten, six foot ten. Yeah, six foot ten, and you know he had one of the best sliders in the game. But yeah, most of them seem to be pitchers, um, or pitcher or utility, uh, utility player. But um, I, you know, looking down at it, it, just shows you the importance of the other positions. I mean, we do have a first baseman in there. We have Alejandro Toral out of uh, Davie, Florida, Archbish uh, Arch out of Archbishop High School. Maybe there might be a little more position players than just that for sure stopping catcher. We click on A and we have uh, Brandon Brendan Rogers. He's actually the number one number one in his graduation year, 2015, 6'1, 190. Uh, he's a shortstop. It shows how important the position of shortstop is, because there's so many pitchers on that map. Especially in today's baseball world when pitching is almost everything, you have a shortstop being number one out of all of them. It talks about how he's a stellar bat, great bat speed, and he has okay defensive skills, which always has to be worked on. And uh, I'm going to talk about the lefty variety, I guess their handedness. Is that is that even a word? I couldn't tell you, Dan. All right, well, it's a word today, handedness. Four, five, six, seven. Seven lefty bats. Oh, she had a Cali once again showing three lefties overall. Herbert Iser. Herbert Iser out of... Uh, out of Miami, Florida, Miami Killian High School. Um, I mean, that's that's a great asset to have. What do you think? I mean, if you if you bat him a, a six or even maybe a two, get that righty lefty combination in the line. I'm gonna go switch by college, and you'll see that there is a uh, not available sign. That's for the uh, for the freshmen and sophomores that have yet to a uh, to uh, commit to a college. You see, Florida State is up there, and UCLA is probably with, is definitely the top. Our number one in the junior class, Riley Pint, going to Louisiana State University. He's from uh, Lenexa, Lenexa, Kansas. I'm seeing the trend with Florida and Cali because that's baseball season all year long. But when you're going to Kansas City, you're only going to play for that one spring to summertime. I wonder if the Royals' push last season was was bringing maybe baseball culture back to Kansas City. Maybe that's why you see that happening. And maybe more um, more prospects coming out of Kansas City due to the uh, Royal, due, to, due to the Kansas City Royals run. Here, I'm going to switch the map. And uh, we see graduating class rank. Each graduating class from the high school level was ranked one through five. So select grad class rank and take out four and five. So I'm just going to leave in one, two, and three. Uh, all the top prospects, at least one through three in each class, are pretty much in California and Florida. Pitching is such an important part, of, even in today's game. I mean, the game, the game of baseball has, came, has, has changed so much as far as being like being a pitcher's game, you're not going to get another uh, Ted Williams batting 406 at the end of the season. Well, I wonder if the case of the impending possibility of a pitcher's clock, which is affecting our prospects when it comes to pitching overall. I mean, when you're growing up in parts of the country like Florida and California, you're you're so exposed to baseball, and that's one thing in high school, but it's another thing getting to the professional level. Psh, baseball.